Hey, what's up guys? Phoenix here. This video is going to be another Yu-Gi-Oh! Pro Duel video, and this one is going to be a little bit different in structure. As you can see, I'm going to be, uh, I'm going to be omitting the decklist portion from this video. One, because I don't want it to get too lengthy, and cutting that extra couple minutes off the, uh, top of the video would be just a nice little way to, uh, prevent the video from getting too terribly long. As well as, uh, the, uh, the deck that I'm playing is Ritual Beast, using the new support from Raid and Tempest, and it's a list that I'm actually keeping secret for right now, uh, just because I'm playtesting around with it, I don't want to put a list out as of right now, and also I might be playing it at some upcoming events, so I don't actually want to put a list out there and, uh, and potentially play anyone at events that might have seen videos or whatever, or even just, like, tip people off to, like, how good I think this deck is, because I think this deck is really good. Um, because Steeds is always an amazing card um, in terms of what it uh, what it allows you to do. But so I'm gonna Gold Sark here for uh, the Conahawk. But yeah, I think this deck has a huge amount of potential in the format. So saving time as well as uh, as well as doing some uh, other stuff in the form of just omitting the deck list because I want to keep it secret for now. And so basically, let me know if that's something you even care about, if it's something that you're bothered by, or if it's something you even care about in the comments down below. I would definitely like to uh, hear your input, but, so, we're gonna target these, and we're gonna see what happens here as far as, I guess he has a hand trap, but Ghost Ogre doesn't really do anything against this, unless he Ghost Ogres um, my, like, Conahawk, but there would have been a Ghost Ogre on the Rampangu, at least I would have expected, uh, but the Conahawk is just better to get here. Um, even though the Rampangu is loaded, but because that Rampangu is loaded, uh, it means that I'm going to be able to use Conahawk to banish a Tamer, and then that'll be good. So that'll, uh, that'll set up a good little bit. I've got Ghost Ogre, I'm going to have Steeds and Ambush, so that's ultimately going to be really strong for me. Uh, so I'm going to banish, uh, Winda, just because Winda is incredibly powerful, uh, to, like, be able to put on your board during your opponent's turn. So, I mean, there is that. And then I'll go into the Conahawk here, and I will get another search. In fact, I can get... Can I get three searches this turn? I think I can. Um, but, so I have an ulti Apelio in... Or I have an Apelio in Grave. Um, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to target the... Uh, the Elder and the Rampangu. Because these have both been special summons. So I'm going to target Elder and Rampangu. And then I'm going to be able to tag this out for Rampangu Elder. Or Rampangu Winda, rather. But yeah, like I said, let me know in the description, or not the description, you don't have access to that! Ha <laughs> ha, silly me. Um, I'm trying to think a little bit too, uh, too quickly about what I'm trying to say. Um, if you have a problem with me not showing deck lists at the beginning of these videos, let me know! And we can, uh, we can potentially change and or rectify that. So I've got two tamers in circulation, yeah, so I want the third. Um, so I will use this to get access to a... Laura, uh, because I don't want to do Pilica because if it dies, then it goes in my extra deck, and then I lose it, and that's just not good for anybody. Uh, but so I can summon this Ulti Conahawk. I'm gonna end up tagging it out on my opponent's turn just so it doesn't get Kaiju. That's actually a very valid thing. <laughs> is that you just have to get rid of it on your opponent's turn or else it gets Kaiju. So I'm gonna put the Rampangu and the Ulti Guy Paleo in grave. So like this was a really good opening uh, for me to have. Uh, so this will get, uh, I can only activate one ambush per turn, right? Yeah, so I'll just get a multiple of steeds, uh, because I'll be able to ambush, I'll be able to tag this out for Conahawk and Winda, and then I'll be able to ambush for other cards, so ultimately, I feel like I'm really strongly set up for any, like, Zodiac play that could potentially happen, but I'm going to tag this out in my opponent's draw phase, because I do not want to get Kaiju'd over, um, and I don't want to lose access to my ulti Conahawk for the rest of the game. And so that's that's a very very valid concern is because people are playing kaiju's now and people are playing board wipes now board wipes not that big of an issue because of the fact that you can just use ambush to reestablish your steedses and stuff like that but ultimately uh, I don't want the Conahawk to be gone because that card's at one even though it's at one for literally no reason this card could easily be at two or three and it would do nothing because this deck still is going to be as strong as it already is ah okay. Uh, so he's starting with a D.Va, so that's really strong. I have no idea um, if he's actually playing a going first versus going second build of Mermails, but I'm going to go ahead and Steeds here, and uh, I'm going to be able to Steeds these, and so I still have Steeds plus Ambush loaded, 
Meaning that, uh, that depending on what happens here... Okay, so he's salvaging both of those. That's Salvage is a really strong card. I really like that card. I just haven't found room for it in any of my Mermel builds. Oh, Salvage in phase. No, I should have been holding A! Damn it! <laughs> so now I don't get my free ambush cert or summons. I mean, I'd still get them, but it would have soaked up their, uh, their things. I completely forgot that I have to hold down A or else it just does not prompt me. Um, whoops. That's gonna suck for me. Does it summon him in defense position? Yes, it does. So, what I've got to do now is I've got to... I could actually probably kill him this turn. I can search into Peleo. I can use a Peleo to, to do that. And, yeah. Um, so, I think, I think I'm capable of just killing him. Um, and I, even if I can't kill him, I could definitely... I drew another Ghost Ogre. Um, and Ghost Ogre just has an amazing interaction with Megalo. Uh, so, there is that. So, uh, not too, uh, not too worried about it. Uh, but, so, what I can do is I can normal summon Rampangu, or I can just not. Um, I'm gonna ambush here for, uh, Elder and for Apelio. And that way I can use Apelio to banish the, uh, the Laura. And, cause I've already got a, uh, I've already got a Rampangu in hand that I could easily summon. So this pumps them all. And, so, I could just turn these to attack mode, punch with them. I can tag these into Ulti Hawk. Yeah. Let's see. Is this is this just an easy game shot if I do it this way? Let me let me see. So Ulti Hawk here. I can use Ulti Hawk to put back two of them and search Elder and not tag out. If I normal summon Elder and then I normal summon Rampangu, that'd be 700 plus uh, that'd be 700 plus 21 plus 19 plus I need a calculator. Um, where's the calculator? There we go. Alright, so 21 plus 19 plus 19 plus 700 plus 21 is 87. So yeah, that would just be game there. So we'll do that. Um, that just seems like it's the easiest thing in the world. Um, but I won't be able to tag this out anyway because of the way that this uh, that this is structured. Um, but so yeah, we'll put this and the Apelio back in grave uh, just because they've already been specialed. And so I'll get the Elder... And I can go Elder into Rampangu, and then that's just game. That's it's very, very, uh, very lackluster in terms of how it works. But I mean, hey man, it's uh, it's Ritual Beasts. Now I'm curious as to whether or not he's playing a going first oriented build of Mermels, um, or if he's uh, if he's going to be able to uh, just tell me, or if he's only going to be able to tell me to go first. Um, like, because if he tells me to go first, that's that works out handily very well for me. Uh, this deck obviously is very, very much a fan of going first, even though I am playing a ton of hand traps. Um, now this hand sucks. Now he did tell me to go first. Okay, so he's playing going second Mermails. Uh, this hand sucks the booty though, but I do have Max C, so I guess we can work with it. Uh, this card, Ritual Beast Return, I really like this card. I'm not touching my mouse at all right now, and it's doing that. There are certain places on my desk where my uh, where the IR sensor on my mouse <laughs> it just starts going absolutely crazy. There we go. Um, so a Neptabis. Uh, so what I'm gonna do here is let this Neptabis resolve. He's gonna be able to do some uh, some thingos for dragoons and searching other things. I'm very familiar with how the Mermel deck functions. So if I max see him, he's going to be incentivized to kill my ass. Um, so I'm gonna use the Solemn Strike on the Megalo that gets summoned. And then I'll Dimensional Barrier if he has something like, uh, I don't know, like, um, mm, Instant Fusion, I guess. Well, I mean, uh, yeah, Instant Fusion would be the thing that I'd want there. Uh, so he's discarding Marksmen and Dragoons for those. So I'm going to activate the Max C here. And so based off what he Marksmans, I'm just going to chain it. So I can Solemn Strike. Um, if he targets the Solemn Strike, it's going to be absolutely insane for me. Um... But he's targeting that, uh, which I have no problems chaining the dimensional barrier and calling uh, and calling fusion. No, I'll call elixirs. No, no, I'll call fusion. That way he can't instant fusion me. Or do I? Do I? I call elixirs. Yeah, yeah, elixirs is fine. Uh, because if he instant fuses for Norden, then that's fine. He can't attack with the Norden anyway, so it's still, like, a negligible amount of damage. Um, so there's not anything I'm really too worried about. But I could easily just die this turn. 
I mean, going second Mermails does that. I mean, every time I play going second Mermails and my opponent max sees me, I'm like, all right, well, I'm going to kill you. Um, it's very, it's very clear cut. Um, but so he's doing that, and I'm going to activate this. I mean, I can't not activate that at this point, because at this point, it's where he would not be able to, uh, he wouldn't have to activate any other cards to kill me, because that would be the equip spell, plus Megalo attacking twice, plus this, which would be 8,000. Um, so that would be a huge thing now. Obviously, this would have been so much better if he had had a, um, if he had used, he had the D.Va again. Holy shit. Um, if he had, uh, like, used the Marksman targeting my strike, obviously would have been infinitely better for me, because then I could have striked the Megalo and held the barrier. And then he would have just had the Neptibus stuck on the board. Uh, but I believe he still has enough steam in terms of what is in his hand to kill my ass. And so we're gonna probably just deal with this. Because, yeah, if he has any summonable monster... Really? Nothing? You're going to be 100 points off game? Hell yeah, I'll take it! Damn it! Okay. Alright, I was expecting literally anything to come popping out of nowhere. Like a Taos, another Megalo. I mean, I think he's at 5 waters, too, or like close enough to it to, to do a Moulin Glaze. No, he's at, he's at 7. Never mind. Ooh. Alright. So, what I've got here is I've got Ambush, I've got Gold Sark, and I've got Ritual Beast Return. I've got this, which I can use to Gold Sark for something, but I can't use this because it has to discard a Ritual Beast monster. It can't discard Ritual Beast cards, so that's going to be the problem. Uh, now, this is a uh, spell effect is activated, so yeah, we'll normal summon this. We'll use its effect to, uh, to try and remove a card from my deck. If it gets Valored, don't care. Um, ah, he's Valoring it now. Okay, then. Okay, I'm okay with this. Uh, but so I'll activate. Do I even activate the steeds now? Yes, I will activate the steeds now because he's so low on cards that uh, that I will be able to just pop this. I'll be able to gold sark for uh, for a card that I want. It's gonna be window because window is gonna be the thing that keeps me from dying. Um, and then I will have the return plus ambush plus strike set. So ultimately, it'll be pretty pretty good for me, at least, because like, damn, I'm going to try and survive this game at a hundred. I can't use the strike on anything, so this is gonna be <laughs> this is gonna be a rough one. Rough waters ahead. If he can summon like Abyss Pike, Surface for Neptibus, Neptibus can send Marksman or Heavy Infantry. Uh, but he's out of Dragoons, so I'm not too worried about it. So he's playing Surface and Salvage. Interesting. Okay, this is great for me. He's Heavy Infantry popping my Cautahawk, which means that I can just ambush. Yes! Yes! Oh, baby! Okay, so what is he, uh, what is he discarding? Marksman Mooling Glaze. Okay. Nah, man, you're good. Okay. That's fine. Targeting the Ritual Beast Return? Sure. Um, I'm okay with this. Fuck me. Come on. I need to try and win this game from the hundo. I need to. I need it. I need it. <laughs> Come on. Oh. Uh, if you had just not popped my Conahawk, you could have attacked over with the Megalo. You should have sent those in the other order. Or just never sent heavy infantry. I mean, maybe you had to, but damn. Uh, okay, so this is another return that's literally dead. Oh man, this sucks. Now he can turn that he can turn that um, that prince into attack mode and use it with Megalo uh, to gain two attacks. But I don't think that actually matters because once the Megalo kills the uh, the window, um, let's see. Yeah, by Battle of Card Effects. So he has another Surface that he's just topped, uh, which means he could Surface for anything at this point. Uh, but, so if he kills this Winda, right, the thing that I'm going to be able to do is I'm going to be able to summon Ulti Gaia Peleo just to be the biggest pain in the ass that he could ever see. And he's going to be playing on very small amounts of cards, so it would be a very good clock. Um, I don't know why that was the play. I don't think that was proper at all um, that's just me though uh, but so what I'm gonna summon is I'm going to summon ulti guy Pelio 
because this motherfucker is huge. So, like, I can just attack over the Megalo. Uh, the Tatsunoko is going to be irrelevant. I'm attacking over the Megalo so he doesn't, like, top deck anything that he could use to put heavy infantry. Um, oh my god, Laura! That was a good ass card to draw, too. That means I can get steeds! Yo! Alright, okay, so this is, this is turning out so much better than I could have ever hoped. You have no idea how much better this is than I could have ever hoped and dreamed. Uh, but so this has been special summoned already, so I need to get a uh, I need to get something like a Pelio, because then I can summon the Laura again. Yeah. Um, so a Pelio, and then I will be able to go into the Ulti Conahawk and get my search, tag it out, and then get another search. Um, so yeah, that's what we'll do. So I'm gonna put back the Conahawk and the Laura, and then I'm gonna chain this to spin it out for the Apelio just so I can get the attack boost and also so that I can uh, so I can banish the Winda and that way I'll be able to um, I'll be able to do some stuff some stuff and stuff uh, but so from here I need to make sure I get steeds I do not want to get caught with my pants down without this steeds you do not even understand um, <laughs> this is such a this is being such a ball ache um, but so what I can banish here is I can banish I mean it doesn't really matter I can banish Winda um, and then I can go into the Ulti Conahawk again, which I'm gonna leave on the board because I don't think that it has any sort of, uh, negligible, like, a, like, thing, because he's gonna be top decking to, like, very few cards. So, we'll put back Apelio, and we'll put back Laura, that way the window stays here, that way I can ambush out the Apelio, banish a card, and, uh, and that'll be good from there. So, yeah. Ambush and Steeds. And I get to punch over both of these, which is better than I could have ever hoped. That Laura was the clutchest card. I mean, it could have been Laura or it could have been Pilika, but I mean, that was the best. This 100 life point comeback is what we're going to be trying to do. But, um, but yeah. If you want me to play more of this deck, let me know in the comments down below or like this video. If this video gets a, a discernible amount of likes, like, I don't know. I usually get like a couple thousand people that watch these videos, so if this video gets 500 likes, I'll play with this deck again. Um, and maybe share the deck list as well, because, like, I mean, I don't know. People seem to like this deck. I really like it. You win, I radium surrendered. Alright. So, uh, I'm gonna play a third game. Um, yeah, okay. I was gonna, I was gonna type third game, because, I mean, I always play three. So, there is that. Uh, but, okay, this hand is good as fuck, too! Look at this hand! Isn't it neat? Ugh. This deck is so good when you open the combo. This deck is like the best deck when you open the combo. Because Steeds is just a hard counter for literally everything in the current format. Ah, oh, I'm so pleased. Uh, Banish the Winda. Winda is a card I always get into circulation as soon as possible. This card is such a layer of protection. Maxi, ah, oh, damn you. Damn you, damn you, damn you, damn you. Um, alright, well, what I'm gonna get out of the deck here is I'm gonna get the, uh, the Zephram Pilica. And let, let's see, do I even care? I mean, I can get Steed's Ambush. Um, I could give him, I would give, I'm gonna give him one card here, right? Um, so if I give him, I can give him one, two, I'll give him two more cards if I go into the, uh, Steed's Ambush. I mean, that's gonna be bad for me, but I mean, at the same time, it's also gonna be bad for him. So yeah, we'll do that. I'm gonna leave. Yeah, this is fine. Yeah, I mean, this is this is gonna be bad in any way, shape, or form. So I'm gonna target the uh, Conahawk and the Pilica because the Pilica was summoned off the Itali, and then I'm gonna tag this out. Max C is kind of irritating here, but at the same time, I feel like I've got more than enough capability to just kill him. Um, do I even need to get the ambush here? I don't even think I do. I think I can just get steeds and keep it here because then I could. Uh, no, I have to. I have to tag into the ulti Conahawk again. That's definitely something that has to happen. Um, and yeah, it's gonna be. Well, let's see. Actually, no, I can just leave these here. Yeah, I can 100% leave these here. Uh, for the reason of I can get a Pelio banished, I can summon Win and get a Pelio next turn, so I'm not at all worried about this. So I'm not even gonna I'm not even gonna go for the ambush. There's there's no need to. I can leave this window here. This window will also get another card. Uh, it could summon Ulti Conahawk. Like there's there's so many different things that I can actually do with this play line without giving him 
any more cards. Like, I'm not going to give him that extra card. Even though that extra card would give me um, a ambush, I'm pretty sure I'm fine with this. Uh, yeah, I'm, <laughs> I'm so fine with that. Um, I'm so fine with that because then this happens and this lets me summon a... Uh, is Windows Effect once per turn? It is. Um, uh, this lets me summon... Ulti Petalfin? Ulti Petalfin, maybe? Uh, Ulti Petalfin would allow me to Steeds for one and also not be killable by card effect. And it's also like it forces the Megalo or the Kaiju. So, yeah, I'm okay with this. Ulti Petalfin seems like the one to go for in this situation. And then next turn, I can normal summon win, get a Peleo, and that's just that's just going to be great because I'll be able to normal summon win, get a Peleo, Peleo, banish Conahawk, tag into Ulti Conahawk, banish get things going um, it's gonna be it's gonna be fine for me so I'm gonna steeds this Neptibus away uh, so okay so this is literally the card that has to resolve and that is the problem I have with going second Mermels is that you have to resolve your Neptibus <laughs> you have to and there's so many things that just prevent that from happening so I mean it sucks beyond belief but if you can resolve Neptibus and you can try to play through cards then you got it but I mean like there's so many cards down here for me to uh, stop him. But anyway, like I said, if you like this deck, if you like the Ritual Beast deck, then you want, and you want to see a deck list potentially, or if you want to see me play with this deck a bit more, then definitely like this video to show your support and all that sort of nonsense. Like I said, 500 likes and I'll play with this deck again or show a deck list uh, based off that. But other than that, let me know what you guys think in the comments down below and whether or not you like the fact that the deck list isn't taking up the first couple minutes of the video or not. Um, I mean, it's something I can definitely change in the future, but who knows? Um, I basically told you my reasons for it not being in this video. But other than that, as always, guys, thanks for watching. Like, comment, subscribe to all the nonsense you usually do. Check out the links in the description to my Facebook page, back our music playlist, as well as a link to my Patreon page, which is in the description, as well as on the video. If you wanted to support me directly, you could go there, and you could even enter for a monthly giveaway that I'm doing at the end of every month that changes based off the product that Konami puts out. It'll basically be, like, boxes of the newest set. It'll be cards from my own personal collection that are high-value cards that I'll be giving away, stuff like that. It'll change based off the month and based off how many, uh, pledgers I have but if you want to go check that out even as little as a one dollar pledge is definitely something that helps support me and it shows your uh, entertainment with my content and your ability to basically believe in me making content you enjoyed seeing and viewing but other than that basically like comment subscribe as I've already said thank you for watching as I've already said I think thank you for your time as usual and let me know what you guys think in the comments down below I'll see you in the next video guys take care